Hello, today I'm going to be giving you a, a tutorial on a few terminal tricks that I have learned off of the internet. And some of these tricks can be functional, and some give your Mac a different look. So first off, we're going to start with um, getting dashboard widgets on the desktop. Because there are, well, I mean, keep terminal open here. But anyway, in dashboard, you know there are like different widgets that you can move around and you can close them and whatnot. But you can actually get these onto your desktop. And the way you do that is not installing anything. That's not the purpose of this tutorial. But by going into terminal and typing this, defaults, write, com dot apple dot dashboard space dev mode yes and to revert you just change the yes to a no so um I'm press enter and just to make sure I always go kill all dashboard or dock okay and now, if I go into dash or er, um, dashboard to drag a widget to my desktop, I simply click a widget. While clicking it, I close dashboard and I drop it. I can move it around anywhere to get this widget back onto the dashboard. You click it, press F4, or open up dashboard using your shortcut and drop it. And to delete this widget, you have to put it back on dashboard. So I like it right there. All right, so that's one of the tricks that we learned today. Um, um, another one of them is going to be removing the finder stripes. Because I know I don't like these little alternate stripes here. So to do this, what you're going to do is go back into terminal. Um, let's close this one. Open up terminal again. To get terminal um, to remove them, you're going to type defaults right, and then you're going to type com dot apple dot finder fx list view stripes. That's all one word. Fx list view stripes is all one word, and then you're going to do space hyphen bool b o o l false. Enter. Kill all finder. And open up finder again. And as you see, there are no little stripes in my list view. Okay. I know I like this, um, even though it's not permanent. I like this. Um, if you you can set your screensaver. For me, I kind of like the flurry one. Um, that's what most people like. Anyway, you can take your screensaver and this one. Like anyway, you can take your screensaver and make it into your desktop background. It's pretty cool. All right, to do this, it's going to be lots of code here. Slash system or backslash system. No, it's not backslash, just a regular slash system slash library slash frameworks slash screensaver dot framework slash resources slash Oh, what's that? Oh, slash screensaver engine dot app slash contents slash oh sorry Mac OS slash screensaver 
engine. Enter. Oh, whoops. Okay, and then, and then you have to after the screensaver engine, you have to put hyphen background. There you go. There's your screensaver as your background. This will quit once you close that terminal window. It kind of makes things a little bit laggier, as I'm sure you can see, because it minimizes slower, weirder. Um, but it's worth it, I think, if you like the background. Um, I kind of like that screensaver. So, anyway, let me quit that. Okay, and it sees, it, as it says, closing this window will terminate it, so close. There it is, there's my regular background. So, our next trick is going to be a stack item gradient. So, I already have this enabled, as I'm sure you can see in documents. See how there's a gradient beside, behind the one that I'm selecting, how it slides. Anyway, I like that. Um, to do that, you're going to go in the terminal again, and you're going to do defaults. Right, com dot apple dot doc mouse hyphen over hyphen hilt with an e at the end, so h i l t e hyphen. Wait, sorry. All right, so it goes hilt hyphen stack space hyphen boolean b o o l e a n. Yes. Or in my case, I'm going to put no. Well, I'm not going to put anything, but it will be yes to enable it. Kill all doc. Doc with a capital D. Enter. There you go. You should have your special little gradient now. Now, if I. Okay, let's minimize all this junk. All right. After doing our final trick is going to be people who love the tiger interface. It's going to be a 2D dock. Open up terminal. Type in this. Defaults. Write. Com dot apple dot dock space no glass and then space hyphen boolean Yes, enter, kill, all, doc, oh, sorry, kill, all, doc, enter, and there you go. There's my special little, for me, I don't like it, but there's my little 2D doc down there. Works just the same as the other one, except for it's in two dimension. So anyway, that concludes our... Um, tutorial on terminal tricks and basically what we did here was you can put dashboard widgets on the desktop desktop like this right here this one you can remove finder stripes like this the stripes in the list view I did that you can put the screensaver as your background you can change the login background we added a gradient behind the stack items. And we made our dock down here 2D, two dimensional. Anyway, thank you for watching. And subscribe, comment, and rate. And uh, okay, have a great day, guys. See ya.